Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the wonderful world of technology and gadgets. This week we've flown all the way to Barcelona and the Mobile World Congress to find out what phones are launching over the next year. Stay tuned. We're here with Christian from the Texas Instruments and DLP stand to show us a new prototype that's going to get you really excited. Christian, what have we got? So you know the DLP chip, but you can see in a lot of projectors today in the market okay. in the UK. Right. So what we have done, we managed to shrink this, this uh, chip okay. to make it small enough you know, to go into a, a cell phone, a mobile phone. Brilliant. So you can have a, a projector into your mobile phone. Okay, so can we, can we see it in action? Sure, of course. So basically this is a Texas Instruments prototype at the moment. Okay. So we only provide the technology. So the likelihood is you'd sell that chip to, to someone like Sony Ericsson or Samsung to, to put into their devices for them? Exactly, to manufacturers who will decide you know, to take this chip to go to the more to market. Brilliant. So the idea is to, you know, to increase the size of the mobile phone, uh, which are small. You know, to and there make we it, have it, look at that, that's great. Yeah, exactly, you know, basically the idea is to have a A4 format picture. Okay. So, you know, instead of having a, a small LCD screen, to have a, a picture that you can share with your friends. So you can share pictures, you can watch a movie, you can, you know, show a business presentation, you can share things from your mobile phone. So in anywhere, I suppose, so on the train, in a park, what have you. Exactly, that's the, that's the idea. Fantastic, and when do you think, when's this going into production? So we announced uh, the GLP chip to be in production by the end of the year. Okay. So uh, we will have this into production by the end of the year, and manufacturers will take this chip and bring it to market later on. So you think probably 2009, 2010 maybe for, so if someone took the chip straight away, we could see a device sort of Absolutely, in the next couple of years? Absolutely, that's your decision, and we can only provide the technology okay. which will be available by the end of the year. So there we have it, basically a mobile, a mobile phone, a projector, instant movie action, sharing of photos on the go, hopefully coming to you in a phone in about two years time, maybe three, maybe four. But it's certainly coming and it's certainly gonna be a possibility. Really exciting. Here's a neat little trick for Vodafone prepay customers. Did you realize that a quick press of a couple of buttons, you can get your balance rather than having to phone someone? All you have to do, I'll show you on this phone, is to star, hash, 1345, followed by a hash, and then call. And there you have it, we have six pounds left. It's as easy as that. Dotcomo, the Japanese mobile phone operator, has come up with a really nifty idea based on a health conscious society that was fast becoming. It's called the wellness phone, it's here. And the idea is it allows you to test your body fat index uh, your, it's got a pedometer in it, whether you've got bad breath or your pulse, in fact. Now, we're not going to test my pulse here because, obviously, bright lights, the excitement of being on camera, I'm probably just going to be racing way too high. But we are going to test my breath. Now, this is probably going to end really badly. Now, there's basically a scale between 1 to 10. So if it's 10, then I know that I really should be, be talking to you like this. I should be rushing away to brush my teeth. Now, we've got the help of, because uh, it's all in Japanese. san san to breathe. How do, how do we do that? Here. Okay. Okay. Right, so the big moment's come. I'm now going to breathe into this. Right, so breathe. Level three, result, I've got good breath. I can talk to you beyond just the camera. Now this is just one of the concept designs that the Japanese operator is coming out with. They're hoping it might turn up in the UK next year. That's 2009, we're not too sure. We're not holding out much for that. But otherwise it's available in, probably gonna be available in Japan later on this year. And that's the wellness phone from Tacomo. I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier. No, I'm not gone mad. This is the name of the Samsung phone, the soul. That's here. Now what's different about this phone to other phones, as Michael Jackson would say, is that it has a touchscreen display at the bottom here, which works as the D-pad. So if I hold down the music button, for example, the music player comes up. The interface here is changed to allow me to scroll through. If I go to the menu option, and then I select the camera, 
suddenly this has become the buttons for flash, for exposure, for timer, for macro mode. It's quite an interesting idea and something that hopefully will make it a lot more intuitive to use the phone. Mainly because on a regular phone, you just have a, a, num a D-pad or a, a little nubbin that you roll around. Other than that, there's HSDPA, again, so super fast broadband. Plus it's got a five megapixel camera tucked in behind. Attempting to push the sound qualities as well. Samsung have teamed up with Bang & Olsen to create what they call the ICE uh, component, which makes everything sound that much better. And that's the Samsung Soul. We've come to the arm stand at the Mobile World Congress to have a look at the Open Handset Alliance Android platform running on a prototype design. Simon, you've got the phone, you've got the software, what's it all about? So, yeah, this is it. So this, as you said, this is the OHA Android platform running on a, a, a purely a software development platform. So it's not what you would actually expect to see out in the, uh, the market. Okay. Um, it's an ARM 9 running at 200 megahertz. As you can see, it runs fairly quickly. Pretty quick. You can guide through the, the menu very easily. You can actually browse the web. So that's fairly quick on that. You can also uh, come out of here, you can go to the maps, which is actually where we are at the moment, at the Fira here in Barcelona. So if you can actually zoom in on where we are. So, and then the, the rest of the functionality is as you would expect. You can do the mobile phone, call sure. make, you know, calls. You've got a calendar on there, you can set appointments and diaries. You can set up your web mail on here. And uh, that's basically it. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Simon, for showing us that. That's the Open Handset Alliance. It's coming to a phone near you probably sometime later this year.